Hello everyone, I am Monty Alexander, pianist, born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. And I want to talk about somebody who I had a wonderful friendship with over several years. I'm holding a book, his autobiography, this incredible man, Mr. Harry Belafonte. And um, I'm showing you a couple of photographs of when we were together at a reception some years ago. And then not too long ago, at his home, on the occasion of his receiving the knighthood from France. I was privileged to have been invited to be one of the few non-family members at this very distinguished occasion. I saw Harry and yes, time was going along and he was quiet, but we had a wonderful moment there, smiling and embracing and um, very, very gracious man towards me. He was an important presence in my life growing up in Jamaica, in my home. When that album of Calypso songs, Jump Up Calypso, came out in 1956, it gave validation to the heritage of music from Jamaica. And the title of the album was Calypso. The real name for this kind of music, very African-based, is Mento. And you would hear these songs rendered so delightfully by Harry singing about the bananas and the banana boat and the island in the sun and Mama Look a Boo Boo and all these delightful songs that made everyone smile. It was a million seller recording, the biggest one up to that time. So I'm sharing with a lot of uh, lamentation the passing of my friend Harry. When I would see him, the first words out of his mouth, the first word, he'd look at me and he'd say, Cousin! And that immediately drew me in to a warm place in his heart. And we struck up a very fine, light friendship that had a lot of Jamaican references because he was indeed an American man, born in Harlem, but his father was Jamaican. And he actually went to high school in Jamaica for a few years, in his teenage years. My mother had a crush on Harry, absolutely. And all the ladies of that vintage loved Harry Belafonte. He was this handsome man, as we all know, Harry Belafonte, who sang a song with conviction and delight. And when he acted in the cinema and the movies, he was a fantastic thespian. And I remember seeing a film he made, it was called The World of Flesh and the Devil. It was about the end of the world and the nuclear bomb and all that. And it scared the blazes out of me, you know? So Harry became a strong presence. And when I started to play music, he was one of the people that really influ influenced me. His attitude, his grace, his integrity, his warmth. So yes, it's a sad time when somebody of that nature, and of course we all know the most important thing that man did and contributed to the world was bringing all these very important people that could make a difference in the issue of civil rights. It was Harry, more than anyone, to bring Dr. Martin Luther King together with the, the government folks at the time. And he brought his friends from Hollywood, celebrities, celebrities, to get together and make it more high profile. Just before they went to Selma to march and he invited his various friends, Paul Newman, Tony Bennett, Charlton Heston, all these well-known actors and principal, most, most important, his dear, dear friend, his dear, dear friend from the Bahamas, Sidney Poitier. So I tell you all this with a little extra sense of familiarity in knowing Harry and what he was all about. He was very much beloved by Jamaican people and long before Bob Marley came along and brought this popular music we all know as reggae, Harry began to put Jamaica on the map and bring a certain glow to what we have there. So yes, 
the music was the first thing that sent him up. And for me, that's the same. And um, in these recent years, I saw him on many occasions, and I truly loved this man. He gave me his warm this friendship. My island Cousin, he called me. Sun, and um, there's so many anecdotes to share. I could go on and on. Begun. But um, the main thing I is, we're going to miss this gentleman who made a big difference as an activist for people of color and the less fortunate people of the world. Oh, Thanks for listening. So you'll hear my version of Island in the Sun. It was a very hard for the song because if you love Jamaica like I do and like he did, you sing it with feeling. So, enough said today. We miss Harry Belafonte, this great man. Au revoir, Harry. God bless. When morning breaks, Happy the journey heaven home. On high, Take care. I lift my heavy load to the sky. Sun comes down with a burning glow That mingles my sweat with the earth below Oh, island in the sun Will to me by my father's hand All my days I will see